It's 2017 and Old Time Radio DVD is still here. Check out our new customer ownership program and the lowest prices ever. Just go to oldtimeradiodvd.com for full information about this wonderful program. Don't forget our new program, 123 Ready TV. Folks, this is really a great app for Android and Windows phones, computers, and tablets. And it's only $19.99. In the near future, we will be adding a new computer component to it old time radio it's a great product for 2017 visit oldtimeradiodvd.com today place your order you'll be glad you did autolite and its 98000 dealers bring you mr frank lovejoy in tonight's presentation of suspense tonight Autolite presents one of the most terrifying half-hours ever presented on Suspense. A young couple and a mad woman. And what happened to them on a country road. Our star, Mr. Frank Lovejoy. Hey, Harlow, what are you doing? Announcing, Hap, Autolite's newest engineering first, the Autolite Special Resistor Long Reach Spark Plug. What's that, Harlow? By Hap, it's the brand new spark plug which has been especially designed by Autolite to match the progress in design of the latest high-horsepower overhead valve engines which give vastly improved acceleration and perform with increasing efficiency throughout the entire power range. What does this new Autolite long-reach spark plug do for those engines, Harlow? The ignition system fires these plugs perfectly. That's why it's the only spark plug that can be used on those new high-horsepower engines. But, Harlow, I don't have one of those new high-horsepower engines. Whatever make of car you drive, you'll find it pays to insist on spark plugs made by the one company which is always in the lead in spark plug developments, Autolite. Whether you choose Autolite standard or resistor-type ignition-engineered spark plugs, you've got the best. Because from bumper to tail light, you're always right with Autolite. And now, Autolite presents transcribed On a Country Road, starring Mr. Frank Lovejoy, hoping once again to keep you in suspense. Relax, David. We're in no hurry to get home. Who can relax in this mess of traffic? Must be a wreck or something up ahead. If this keeps up, we'll get caught in the rain. Yeah, yeah. Looks like a big storm building up, too. Hey, remember that shortcut? Which one? The little tarred road that goes across through Santa Moriches and comes out on the other highway. You mean the one we took last summer? I'll turn off there and duck this pile up. I'd like to get as far as possible before that storm hits. you put out your hand. Oh, don't get angry, David. He cut right in front of me to turn into that gas station. Maybe he needed gas. Do we have enough? No, no, I have to stop and get some. Turn on the radio, huh? See if you can get the news. Police this afternoon issued two warnings to all residents of Long Island to be on the lookout for Nellie Guller. A middle-aged woman described as dangerous and insane. What? She escaped this morning from Restview Mental Hospital after fatally butchering a doctor, a nurse, and a ward attendant with a meat cleaver. This is the same Nellie Goller who a year ago murdered three persons on a Brooklyn street, also using a meat cleaver as a weapon at that time. This station will broadcast a full description on our regular newscast, which follows in just a few moments. Ah, my mother-in-law. Hey, I'm kidding. At least we aren't the only crazy people on Long Island. Why'd you change it? I don't want to hear any more. Why don't they just put her to sleep instead of locking her up where she can escape and kill more people? Who? The woman they were talking about on the radio. Oh, well, she can't help what she does. She's sick. What good does that do the people who get chopped up with a meat cleaver? I don't know. The laws were made before the doctors knew very much about the human mind. They still don't know much. Oh. 
Oh, I see what it is. There's a roadblock up ahead. What's happened? I don't know. Cops all over the road. Say, I'll bet they're looking for that crazy woman. Yeah, I guess so. Hold it a minute, please. What's up, officer? Oh, just a checkup. Anything in the back seat? Just a blanket and some fishing tackle. We've been surf fishing. Yes, ma'am. Seen any hitchhikers? No, no, just traffic. Okay, move right along, please. Um, are you looking for the crazy woman? Move it along. Let's go. He didn't answer. He's busy. What are you doing? All yes, residents and motorists on Long Island are warned to be on the alert for the escaped insane woman who is somewhere on the island. She is described as tall, broad-shouldered, gray-haired, and rather heavy. She may still be armed with a meat cleaver. One hundred men are searching the area, and they are prepared to shoot on sight. Here's another bulletin on the case which just came in. Just a few minutes ago, the decapitated bodies of an elderly man and woman were found by police near Center Moriches on Long Island. There's that shortcut. I'll repeat that. The bodies of an elderly couple have just been found in their car near Center Moriches on a lonely tarred road. Police are certain they were killed by Nellie Goller, the insane woman now at large. Residents of the area are warned not to open their doors to strangers. Motorists are cautioned to stay off lonely roads and not to pick up any hitchhikers. All persons are asked to be on the lookout for this woman. Here is her description again. They haven't she caught her yet. Hair, no, no. Shoulders, Turn it off, Dorothy. Thought She's you wanted to hear her. That's enough of it. Which she... This shortcut will save us a lot of time. You turned off the highway. Sure, sure. I told you when I did it. We've come over a mile already. Save us a lot of time. But didn't you hear what the radio said about staying off lonely roads? We just have to go across to the other highway. It won't take long. Are you sure? Well, of course. We go past Santa Marches and take the left road and come out right by the highway bridge. Santa Marches? That's... That's where she just killed those two people. Oh, Dorothy, stop acting like a child. What can happen to us while we're driving? Besides, the whole island is full of men looking for this lunatic. They'll catch her. You're jumpy. Yes, I'm silly. David? What? Gas gauge says empty. There's still a couple of gallons left when the point's empty. How long has it said empty? I don't know. I don't know. I'll get gas when we get across to the other highway. David, I'm scared. <laughs> Relax, honey. Rain and wind always made you nervous as a cat. wish we'd stayed on the highway. If I don't yet act like this, I would Well, it's not my fault. Well, it's not mine either. I'm having trouble enough trying to see through this storm. Oh, David. What are we fighting about? I don't know. Driving through these burned-out woods in this kind of weather is enough to give anyone the willies. It got dark so fast. I can hardly see ahead, even in the headlights. There's something ahead. Don't stop, David. It's only a sign crazy woman could be around here, you know. I'm not picking up anyone. I just want to know where I am. Don't get out of the car. I'm not. Now, calm down. Santa Moritz is that way. We'll take this road. Santa Moritz. This must be the road where she killed those people. <laughs> Dorothy, please. I'm sorry I'm jumpy. Turn on the radio. What a desolate road. Haven't passed a house yet. Just miles of woods on both sides of us. So dark we wouldn't have seen one if it were there. This rain seems to be getting worse. Motorists in the area are warned not to open their car doors. David. Oh, now stop it, Dorothy. That's why the police had a roadblock by this road. That crazy woman might be anywhere in these woods. But not necessarily where we are. What's the matter? Uh, what a place to run out of gas. You mean we're stuck here? Well, 
for the time being, anyway. The crazy woman is in the woods. She'll kill us. She's nowhere near us. Now, calm down. David, quick. Turn off your headlights. Why? You see something? David, I don't know. I don't know. I'm scared. I should have gotten gas. Don't put the headlights on, please. Why? She'll see us if you do. Oh, for Pete's sake. I'm putting them on. Please, David, turn them off. Dorothy, I don't want this silly thing to get the better of you. Just look at the headlights. Poking into darkness at nothing but wet bushes and trees. Rain falling. Please, David. Oh, all right. There. They're off. You feel better sitting in the dark? If only the thunder and lightning would stop in the rain. Look, Dorothy, there's no sense sitting here all night. It's only a few minutes past ten o'clock. I'm going to walk up the road a bit. There might be a house or something there. You're not going to leave me here. I I won't let you go. Dorothy, we can't sit here in the middle of nowhere for the rest of the night. We're safer here than out there. David, she's probably hiding in these woods just waiting for a chance to kill us. Oh, come on, Dorothy. Why should she be right here when we've run out of gas? Oh, why can't she be here? Now, please, stay in the car. Well, it's silly, but all right. Quick, lock the doors from the inside. Why? What is it? Well, now she can't get in here. She's nowhere near us. Oh, don't be mad at me, David. I'm so scared. If she is out there, she can easily smash the window. Don't scare me anymore. I know I'm acting silly, but I can't help it. All right, come here. Let me put my arm around you. There. Oh, (laughs) Put your head on my shoulder. You forgive me, David. You go ahead and cry. It'll make you feel better. Isn't there some popular music? I'll see. Pressing their search for the escaped insane woman who has killed five persons since fleeing from a Long Island mental hospital. Rain and darkness are hampering the search. Over 100 police are combing the wooded area near Center Morages. It was near there that an elderly couple was found butchered on a lonely tarred road. In making her escape this morning... The mad woman killed a doctor, a nurse, and... We'll, uh, we'll leave it off for a while. So quiet and lonely here. I wish it were morning. Look, Dorothy, I'll... I'll run up the road. There might be a No, house. David, please. David, listen. You hear that? What? I don't hear anything. There it is. I don't hear... It's a dog. It's a little dog barking. David. I, uh... I guess it's only a lost dog. Or maybe there's a house nearby. Oh, the crazy woman. (gasps) David, she's out there. Something hit the back of the car. It's her. She'll kill us. The door locked on your yes, side? Yes, yes. What if she breaks the window? She's got a cleaver. In that flash of lightning, I saw somebody. Is it the crazy woman? I can't tell. She's lying on the road. Can you see her? Is she still there? It's too dark to see. I'll have to wait for the lightning. I saw her. She's getting up now. She'll kill us. She'll kill us. Calm down. What's she doing? Please. I don't know. I don't know. She must have been running. She didn't see the car and ran right into it. <gasps> She's at the window, David, right next to you. Oh, my Lord, look at her. Get away from that window. Let me in. She's trying to get in the car. Look at that face in her hair. Go away. Let me in. I'm not crazy. The crazy woman is out there. David, don't let her in. Maybe we can scare her. Go away. We've got a gun. We'll shoot. Oh. It worked. She's staring at me. I'm warning you. I'll shoot. David, she's coming back. Please don't leave me out here. Please. That woman will kill me. Please. David, take your pipe. Hold it like a gun. It'll look like a gun. Where is it? Dorothy, in the glove compartment. Oh, here it is. Look. I've got a gun. I'm going to shoot. She's backing away. Keep going before I start shooting. Oh, David, she's gone. She disappeared. Well, we can't get out now. All we can do is sit here all night and wait for help. 
Can you see her? Where did she go? I don't know. She's out there, though. Probably planning on how to get in the car. David, what are we going to do? She's the one I know. But she didn't have a cleaver. She must have dropped it when she ran into the car. Her face all twisted and the hair hanging down. She must be back there looking for the cleaver now. She'll kill us. She'll kill us. Dorothy, stop it. She'll kill us. <laughs> David! David! Autolite is bringing you Mr. Frank Lovejoy with Joan Banks and Jeanette Nolan in On a Country Road. Tonight's presentation in radio's outstanding theater of thrills, Suspense. Say, Harlow, about this new Autolite special resistor long-reach spark plug for today's high-horsepower overhead valve engines... Yes, Hap. Does it look like a regular spark plug? Well, almost, Hap, except that it's longer where it fits into the cylinder head. What's different inside, Harlow? Well, Hap, because of the location of the heat-conducting seal, the new Autolite long-reach spark plug can be easily installed. It cools uniformly and performs exactly as designed for its entire long life. But I can't get a set of these new spark plugs for my car, eh, Harlow? Only if you own one of the brand new cars with a higher horsepower overhead valve engine, Hap. But you can get world-famous Autolite standard or resistor spark plugs. They're built by the same ignition engineers who designed the new Autolite special resistor long-reach spark plug and other great Autolite firsts. When you insist on ignition-engineered Autolite spark plugs, you're getting the best money can buy. Because, from bumper to tail light, you're always right with Autolite. And now, Autolite brings back to our Hollywood soundstage Mr. Frank Lovejoy with Joan Banks and Jeanette Nolan in Elliot Lewis's production of On a Country Road, a tale well calculated to keep you in suspense. David, she broke the window. Get away from there. Stay out of the car. I'm coming here. Stay out of the car, I warn you. I've got a gun. You wouldn't shoot me. You go away. You're crazy. We know all about you. I'm not the crazy woman. Believe me, let me in. Don't you do it, David. She's trying to trick us. Listen to me, please. I've been running in this awful storm. My car is stuck in the ditch back there. How far back? I don't know. It seems like miles. I heard about the crazy woman on the radio. I was afraid to stay in the car alone. Let me in. No, David. Go back to your own car. No, it's so dark and so lonely in this storm. I locked the door, but I was afraid I could see things and hear things in the darkness. I just couldn't stand it anymore. I got out and ran in the rain and... Oh, it's awful. That's why I look like this. It's the rain. I'm not the crazy woman. Let me in. Please, let me in. Dorothy, maybe she isn't the crazy woman. Maybe she's just scared and exhausted. No, David, she's the one I know. The crazy woman had a cleaver. Look, I'm not armed. The three of us will be safer together. She makes sense to me, Dorothy. We would be safer with one more person. Oh, David, I don't know. Let me in, please. Oh, I'm wet to the skin. I'm going to unlock the door, Dorothy. David. Oh. All right, get in. Make one move and I'll shoot you. Oh. Oh. It's so good to sit down. There's a blanket on the floor back there. Uh. Try to dry yourself off with uh-huh. it. The darkness and the rain. It was enough to drive me out of my mind. Try and rest. I ran and ran. All I could hear was feet chasing after me, hunting me. Just take it easy. Well. You live near here? A father out near Restview. I used to live in Brooklyn. Restview. That's the mental hospital. I know. I'm used to the crazy people, but not a night in a lonely place like this. Not the kind who kill people. You live at Restview? No, just near there. David, we can't sit here not knowing. If, if we could get to a phone. A phone? Why? To call the police, get some help. No, don't do that. Why not? Why don't you want the police? Oh, I do. 
But you'd be killed. What do you mean? The woman should kill him if he goes away from this car. There's that dog again. Don't you hear it? Somebody's out there. There might be a house nearby. Maybe it's barking to be let in. It senses somebody. There's something out there. There's somebody. That's why it's barking. The crazy woman is creeping around out there. Quick, let's get away before we're caught. Look out, David. Let go of me. What are you trying to do? Start the car, quick. We'll get away. We're out of gas. Out of gas? You don't think we parked here for the fun of it, do you? It's a desolate place to run out of gas. What does it mean? David, we're so helpless. She can kill us easily. You can't just sit here. We gotta get away. I'm not a magician, lady. Can't make gasoline out of rain. We can't stay here the whole night. You hear me? Let go of me. There's nothing I can do. Try something. Anything. Don't just sit there. He's scaring me, David. Stop it. Cut it out. You'll have us all in hysterics. All right. All right. I'm sorry. Look, I got an idea. Give me your gun. Why? Why? I'll tell you. I want it. Give it to me. David, what's the matter with her? Listen to me. I'm all right. But I can't sit here all night. I'd go crazy. Give me the gun. I'll go. I won't be afraid of the dark and the noises, the feet following me. I'll go. I promise you. But give me the gun. No. Now sit down. Please. I'll go. I promise. I can't stand sitting in the dark like this. Can't you stop her, David? I told you to shut up. If you don't, I'll... I'll make you get out of the car. Oh, you wouldn't. Not unarmed. Not into the woods again. Oh, you're nice people, aren't you? Or do you want me to leave so you can shoot me? Is that it? Don't stop that. We're not going to shoot you. We haven't got a gun. It's only a pipe. A pipe? A smoking pipe? David, I'm sorry. Then, then you're unarmed. I'm sorry, David. It's all right. Why did you tell me you had a gun? Why does it make a difference to you whether I'm armed or not? I don't know you. Maybe you two are more dangerous than the crazy woman. Well, I'll tell you what I think. I think you are the crazy woman, the way you grabbed David when you wanted him to start the Don't car. Don't stop it. Don't excite her. Don't excite me? Why? Maybe you think I'm dangerous. An old woman you took into your car. Two of you and you're afraid of me. We're not afraid of you. Now sit back in that seat and don't try anything. I'm watching you all the time. David, the storm is stopping. Maybe now is the time. The time for what? What are you going to do? You two are up to something. Oh, shut up. My wife meant now is the time to go for help. I did not. I meant now is the time for us to escape, David. Can't you see it? She's the one. She's going to kill us. Oh, let her. Stop it. Sit back in that seat. You you haven't got a gun. No, but I've got a knife. David. It's my jackknife, but it's sharp and strong. I don't try any tricks. All right. Threaten me. Watch me while that woman is out there. All you can do is sit and wait for her to make the next move. She can kill us like that old man and woman. It must have been on this same road. They they were in their car, too. They must have let her in. We'll leave, then. The three of us. We'll walk. We'll stay close together. See, we'll be quiet. Anyone hiding in the woods won't hear us. Don't you get out of the car, David. We'll be killed. How would we find our way? It's too dark. Oh, we'll find our way. Look out there. The road is full of shadows. Get her out of the car, David. She wants to kill us. Kill you? If you want to go, why don't you leave? You don't need us. We're willing to stay here until help comes. I'd be helpless alone if I had a gun. Oh, Oh, why doesn't somebody come? Where are the police? I can't stand this. Nobody will come. There's no one in these woods. They're burned out and deserted. Dorothy, honey, honey, please. (laughs) Oh, it was your idea to use this road. You wouldn't listen to me and stop forgetting. I couldn't help it. I got lost. (laughs) Well, why don't you do something? Not just sit there waiting and waiting. Do something before we're murdered. Are you so help? All right. I'm going to do something. I'll go for help. That's it. Get help. <laughs> David. In her hand, I saw it in the moonlight. It glittered. What is it? Your wife is hysterical. She was holding it, a long piece of broken glass, long and pointed. 
see. She doesn't answer. She's just watching us. What's she waiting for? It's from the broken window. That's where she got it. So what if I have it? I'm not going to sit here defenseless. She's going to attack us. Don't be silly. If it's all right for you to have a knife, why can't I be armed for whatever may come? Give me that broken glass. Give it to you? You think I'm crazy? You couldn't protect us from anything. David, what are you doing? Why are you climbing over the seat? I won't. What are you? I'm through letting my wife be terrified. Now give me that glass. Stay away from me! Once I left the car, you were going to butcher my wife with that broken glass. No! She's got my arm. You'll kill me! Drop oh. that glass! Oh. Oh. She dropped it, David. She dropped it. <laughs> you both gone crazy. Trying to kill me! Like you were going to murder us? I wasn't! Don't let her get free. I oh. can't hold her. She's strong. If you have a knife, then I'll have glass. Hold her, David. Hold her. I can't much longer. I'm not crazy. Please believe me. Just give me the knife. That's all. She got my throat. Children, use your knife. David, use your knife. You you killed her. David, you killed the crazy woman. I couldn't help it. She was choking me. You... You covered with blood. She was going to kill us. (laughs) <laughs> Lights. A car is coming. Help's coming. Hey there. You in the car. Why are you parked here? Oh, it's the police at last. We ran out of gas. The crazy woman... What a night to run out of gas. You couldn't have picked a better spot. What with that woman running around loose? Oh, this... Officer, we want to tell you... Farmer up the road called us, said his dog's been barking at something. We caught her. Oh, who'd you catch? The crazy woman. She's in the back seat, dead. What? Oh, she's alive. Badly hurt, though. She was trying to kill us. We fought. Well, we'll get her to a hospital. You come with me. It's lucky you didn't kill her. We captured that crazy woman a half hour ago. I don't know who this lady is. Now, come on. Give me a hand with her. Suspense. Presented by Autolite. The night star, Mr. Frank Lovejoy. This is Harlow Wilcox speaking for Autolite, the world's largest independent manufacturer of automotive electrical equipment. In 28 plants from coast to coast, Autolite makes over 400 products for cars, trucks, tractors, planes, boats, and industry. These products include batteries such as the famous Autolite Stay Full, Ignition-engineered Autolite spark plugs, both standard and resistor types, voltage regulators, wire and battery cable, Autolite bullseye sealed beam units, and Autolite original service parts for all Autolite electrical systems. Autolite is proud to serve the greatest names in the industry. So, from bumper to tail light, you're always right with Autolite. Next week, a story based on fact as we examine a city in terror of its life. A dramatic report which we call One Man Crime Wave. Our star, Mr. Dana Andrews. That's next week on Suspense. Suspense is transcribed and directed by Elliot Lewis with music composed by Lucian Morrowick and conducted by Lud Gluskin. On a Country Road was written for Suspense by Walter Bazaar. In tonight's story, Joan Banks was heard as Dorothy and Jeanette Nolan as the woman. Featured in the cast were Joseph Kearns and William Woodson. Frank Lovejoy will be seen starring in the forthcoming United Artists Technicolor picture, Beachhead. You can buy.
by Autolite standard or resistor type spark plugs, Autolite original service parts, and Autolite stay full batteries that your neighborhood Autolite dealers switch to Autolite. Good night. This is the CBS Radio Network.